In our previous video, we told you why you should see your cupped palms of the hands before getting up in the morning. If you have not seen that video, then the video link has been given in the description below. You must watch that video. In this video, we will tell you what you should do before stepping onto the ground after waking up in the morning. Before stepping onto the ground, we must do Bhumi Vandana. It is a respect or salutation to Mother Earth, meaning Bhumata. Mother Earth rotates us around the sun, giving us morning and evening, giving birth and death, giving rise and fall, giving knowledge and intellectuality, giving food and shelter. Bhumata is a living organism that nourishes and sustains us. In Hinduism, Mother Earth is considered as a goddess and not just one of the five elements of this universe. When you first wake up in the morning, before putting your foot on the ground, take a deep breath, recite Bhumi Vandana Shloka and then touch the ground with your hand and place your feet gently down. The Bhumi Vandana Shloka is Samudra Vasane Devi Parvastan Mandale Vishnu Patni Namastubhyam Pad Sparsham Shamasvume After constantly keeping our body flat on the ground for 6 to 8 hours at night, it is not good for our health if we get up immediately after waking up. In the vertical position of the body, the force exerted by our heart for pumping the blood is more and hence the change of position of the body from horizontal to vertical level should be slow and steady. So we need to give the heart sufficient time to get it to adjust. And by doing meditation like Bhumi Vandana and Cupped Palm Meditation, for a few minutes our body gets upright and this process will make us have normal blood pressure and improve our digestive system too. According to medical studies, 23% of heart attack deaths take place in heart patients when they suddenly get up and stand or walk from the lying position. Moreover, after Bhumi Vandana Shloka, when we touch the floor with our fingers, the biostatic electricity in the body gets earthed through the fingers instead of the feet. It reduces the chance of arthritis and many other nervous-based disorders. We have bioenergy in us that supports our life, thinking and every other inner and outer activity. During sleep, one may have bad dreams and other thought processes that also burn the bioenergy and thus disposes of some electromagnetic energy around. These energies will settle around our aura. Thus, by the time we wake up in the morning, the aura will have an energy cover which is not useful for us. This bad energy needs to be disposed of. Electric equipment has a plug with the earth pin for the disposal of the extra unwanted energy. Just like that, the unwanted energy that is around our body will automatically get earthen as we step from the bed. This happens through the leg in the first step itself. Most paralytic and heart attacks happen during the time when one gets out of bed during when the earthling happens through one leg. It is proven that energy transfer through the hand is safer than through the legs. This could be the reason for the activities like sharp meaning to curse and ashirvad meaning blessings and patting etc being given with hands only. Thus, touching the ground with fingers before putting legs on the ground is recommended in Shastra for a healthy life. Samudra Vasane Devi Parvastan Mandale Vishnu Patni Namastubhyam Pad Sparsham Shamasvume. The meaning of the shloka is He Bhumata, you are with the rivers and mountains on you. You are the wife of Sri Vishnu. 
I pay obeisance to you. Please forgive me for stepping on you with my feet. I am going to take your help for survival. I will take care not to hurt you. Teaching this shloka to kids with the meaning we can make them responsible for our environment from a very early age. When recited every day, Bhumi Vandana Shloka increases awareness of our surroundings and an overall sense of gratitude, especially towards our earth and universe. Jai Shri Krishna.